There's only two days left in this year's Reno Rodeo, but even if you've already uh, been out to the event, there is a chance that you have not checked everything that there is to do there. Ryan Canada is live near the uh, Reno Livestock Event Center with more. All right, Ryan, what have you found out there? You know, we've been here at the carnival pretty much all day, Land, and I know a lot of folks maybe don't come just to watch the animals at the rodeo, but the carnival's a lot of fun, too. They've been watching me miss basketballs all day, and they're going to give me a couple more chances right now. Let me tell you, though, this game is not as easy as it looks. There's another miss. I did make it one time, and, you know, just for the sake of doing this, we're going to have a little fun on this one, too. And no. That's a no-go. But you know, it's not just these fun games that everyone has to check out here either. There's a lot of family-friendly rides here for people to check out as well. The Davis Show's Northwest Carnival has been coming to the rodeo since the 80s. The Reno Rodeo is part of the West Coast route that the carnival stops at nearly every year. More than 80 carnival operators work the games and rides daily for what has surely been a challenge in this year's heat. The heat is even expected to have hurt the carnival's business this year. In rain, uh, heat, it's all the same. Uh, it, it damages you, but you have a nice night crowd here. If they allow us to, you know, go to midnight or something, usually they come out and they play hard. The best way to stay cool at the rodeo is to stay in the shade and to drink plenty of fluids, which you can find near all the food vendors. Places like BJ's Barbecue and Tacos Tijuana have been selling food at the rodeo for two decades. Brothers Barbecue has been here for the last three years. Each shop says a lot of time and prep work goes into the rodeo's two-week event, but it's the next two nights where they expect to sell the most product. You think about the influx of people that just came in for this rodeo. I mean, it's, it's got to be huge. And the amount of people here, you can just look around at the vendors and uh, uh, all the people that are inside of the arena. You know, it brings out a lot of money into the community. Let me tell you, there are a lot of people out here who are going to be spending their money. There's things like the Jack Daniels tent. There's things like the mechanical bull. There are all kinds of things for people to come out here and enjoy at this year's Reno Rodeo. Coming to the story live, Ryan Canada, Channel 2 News.